Hello, my name's Al and today I'm going to show you how to replace your brake pads. So as long as your brakes aren't knackered, this is a dead easy job. You don't need much at all to get the job done. You're obviously going to need some brake pads, some Allen keys and a means of resetting your caliper, i.e. pushing the pistons back into the bores. Uh, you're either going to use, there are dedicated tools for it, but flat bladed screwdriver will work pretty well. Or we're working on some SRAM brakes here. So we've got a, an, a SRAM pad spreader. Quick word on brake pads. Obviously make sure you get the right ones for your brakes. And you'll find generally that there's two choices and they'll be sintered or organic. Sintered pads have got metal in the, in the pad compound. As such, they do last longer. So if you're wearing through pads, you ride some really gritty and filthy, might be a good choice. Organic pads tend to offer a bit more initial bite when you apply the brake, and they also tend to be a bit quieter. So there's plus points to either. Make your choice. These are sintered. We're gonna fit these, see how we get along. First thing we need to do is remove the wheel from the brake that we're going to Swap the pads on. On this SRAM brake, it's a guide. It's very similar to, to most brakes out there, really. You've got a little clip which sits on the end of the pad retaining pin. And in this case, you've got a two and a half mil Allen head on the pad pin, that spins out and that enables you to remove the pads. They're top loading in this brake. They just come straight out from the top. So you'll see our backing plate, which is the metal plate on the back. It's gone a bit rusty. And on the other side, this is the friction material. This pad's actually still got a, a bit of life left in it still. But once they start to get to like half a mil left, then you're going to want to replace them. Any more and your wrist damage in your rotor and your brake's not working. We often find that the original pad spring supplied with the original pads is, uh, is better than a lot of aftermarket ones. It's less likely to create noise. Uh, so if you swap into a, another brand of pads, sometimes it pays to keep hold of that and reuse it. With these SRAM brakes, when we fitted our new pads, then we're gonna use this pad spacer, push it in between the pads and it will get the correct spacing ready for, uh, for the rotor to go in there. And hopefully we'll have no rubbing. If you've got different brakes or you don't have one of these, then the best thing to do before you take your pads out is to use a flat bladed screwdriver and lever in between the, the pads to push them back and it, you're effectively pushing the pistons of the caliper back into their bores. And that will reset the brake and give you plenty of room for the new pad, which will have a bit of extra meat on it. This is the better way to do it though. So if you've got the pad spacer, that's preferable. So here we have our new pads, popping the spring into position, creating a little sandwich, like so. Some brakes will have left and right specific pads. These don't. Once they're in place, fit your pad retaining pin. Just nip that up. Finger and thumb. And then we fit in our little clip on the end of the pin. So just in case it comes loose, we're not going to lose it. With the new pads in place, we're getting our pad spacer and that just fits in between the pads from above. You push it into place 
and that spreads the pads, sets them to the correct distance apart to accept your rotor. Remove that and we're ready to fit the wheel. With the pads fitted, everything should all be well. Hopefully there'll be no robbing. Uh, if you do find that the bite point has changed, which it may have done, because even though brakes are self-adjusting, the pads do still have an effect on the brake, then you might need to adjust that at the lever if you've got a bite point adjuster. Other than that, take the bike out, give it a few good hard stops from a decent speed, about 10 or so, and that will bed in the pads because initially you won't get much power and then you'll feel the power coming on and that will help your brakes to work better and for your pads to last longer in the future. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.